stop. You don't get to walk away from me. Either we're friends or we're not friends. I'm asking you a question. I'm asking you where you are. So tell me the truth. You want to lie to yourself? You go ahead. Yes. Yes. I love Quinn. And it's driving me insane. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another bold and a beautiful review. So we open up with Ridge and Carter finishing their conversation from yesterday where Ridge confronted him about his feelings for Quinn and Carter does admit that he still loves her. Um, I wonder if Lawrence is having a good time playing this because usually his character is very even keeled and he doesn't get to emote like this. So I'm sure that he was very excited to play a role that he may even be able to submit for an Emmy reel. Speaking of which, I will be watching tonight. If anything good, hap good happens, I may do a highlight video or may I may just put some pictures up on the community tab. So look out for that. But Ridge is actually making a lot of sense here. Carter tells him that he needs to marry Paris so that she doesn't interfere with Quinn and Eric's marriage. Ridge points out the hypocrisy here and say, okay, why not date her? Take her on a trip. You don't have to marry this young girl and basically ruin her life because you want to make things easier for Quinn. How selfish is that? They're trying to make Carter seem like he feels like he's being selfless by giving himself up for Quinn, but you're ruining another young girl's life because you're going to destroy her. So I don't like that angle at all. Now, yes, Paris is very annoying, but she doesn't deserve this. Drop it in the comments and let me know your thoughts on that. Is Carter being selfish here to use, he is really, he is using Paris to get over Quinn and to keep her from going to Eric with her thoughts on his feelings for Quinn. Oh my God. You and Cindy are engaged? If only my daughter is engaged to Carter. Okay, so if your take on him is correct, he should have been out there setting his sights on his newest conquest. But instead he came back with a ring. Doesn't that tell you something? I don't trust him. I don't trust him to honor you. I don't trust him to cherish you. So Grace continues to try to convince Paris that this is a horrible idea, but she is not going for it. She is all in on Carter. Then hilariously, Hope, again, walking into an awkward situation, assuming that she's marrying Zenday, finding out that it's Carter, then getting stuck sitting in the office during this heated argument between Paris and her mother. It was funny watching her facial expressions. So Grace leaves and Paris talks to Hope and Hope tells her if she's happy, she supports her and she will be there at the wedding. But Grace goes and talks to Zende, lets him know that Carter proposed. Zende is shocked. I'm sure he's extra shocked since just a few months ago, Paris told him she was too young to get married. But Grace tries to convince Zende to go and stop, talk to Paris to stop the wedding. And Zende's like, have you seen me? I'm too fine to bet. <laughs> no, he didn't say that. But he said, I, she's happy and I don't grovel. So basically... Let her have it. And I hope he keeps that same energy when she tries to run back to him after Carter goes to Quinn. Because spoilers are saying that Quinn is going to try to stop the wedding. And here's a little teaser photo from Soap Opera Digest. I'm going to do another video about the spoilers for next week. They are so good. I can't wait to do it. But here's a little teaser photo. They said it's going to be comical when Quinn commandeers a bike to go and get to the wedding. But anyway, I'm not going to get too deep into that on this video. But but I hope Zende does not take her back when she runs to him after Carter dumps her. But make no mistake. I will always love you. I always love you too, Carter. So there you have it. We have our classic soapy, teary goodbye between Carter and Quinn. He's sacrificing himself for the love of his life and she has to walk away to be faithful to Eric who is cheating on her, but then she will find out he's cheating and then they will get back together and we know how it goes. What I thought was funny about this whole storyline uh, and when Paris and Carter were discussing their wedding arrangements earlier, they were talking about who they were going to invite. Not once did they mention Zoe or mention the elephant in the room that she has to tell her sister that she's marrying her ex. I would love for them to bring that out and have Zoe come back and confront her. That would be great. 
But that's it for today's episode, guys. It was all about setting us up for the drama next week with the this Quinn Eric Carter Paris storyline. Like I said, I'll come back with a spoiler video soon. Have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. Please take a moment to like and share, and I'll catch you on the next one.